There are many different reasons why having a kidney transplant is a recommended treatment for patients with kidney failure. Later in this DVD, you will hear from patients about the positive effects having a transplant has had on their life. For patients on dialysis, they benefit from stopping this treatment after a transplant, whilst patients whose kidney failure never reaches this level benefit from never having to receive this therapy. Many patients on dialysis have dietary and fluid restrictions. These can vary from person to person, but may include only drinking one litre of fluid in each 24-hour period and limiting foods containing potassium and phosphate, such as many fruits, chocolate, crisps, potatoes and coffee. After a transplant, these restrictions may be relaxed, but this will still be dependent on your blood results. It may take up to three months to fully feel the benefits of a transplant with respect to having improved strength and energy. One of the positive effects people talk about after a transplant is no longer feeling tired. People have increased energy to spend time with friends and family and go to back to work if they previously stopped this due to their poor health. They speak to us about having a new lease of life. From a medical point of view, we know that people who have a transplant rather than remaining on dialysis, on average, have a longer life and are likely to have fewer medical problems. If you are medically fit enough for a transplant, then this is the treatment option which we recommend for you. Unfortunately, we know that not everybody is suitable to receive a kidney transplant. More than half of people on dialysis are not medically fit enough to be on the transplant register. Some common reasons for this include having a poorly functioning heart which is not strong enough, having blood vessels which are not good enough quality to join to a kidney, being significantly overweight or having an active or a fairly recent cancer. For this reason we organise assessment tests for people wishing to be considered for a kidney transplant. The assessment tests required vary from person to person depending on past medical history, current level of fitness and age although there is no maximum age for anybody to receive a kidney transplant. Everybody requires a chest x-ray to assess the size of their heart and lungs and check for any abnormalities, and an ECG to assess the electrical conductivity of their heart. One of the doctors will feel the pulses in your feet and groin to help us assess your blood flow. These can all be carried out whilst you're in clinic. Some people require an MR scan to assess the blood flow in their pelvic area and legs. If this is required, you will receive an appointment in the post. When you attend, a dye is injected into your vein. The scan then takes approximately 30 minutes. Some people require a stress test of their heart known as a myocardial perfusion scan. This test gives an indication of how well your heart performs under stress and whether it would be strong enough to undergo a kidney transplant operation and supply a new kidney with blood afterwards. If required, you will receive an appointment in the post for this test. It is performed over two days. On one of the days, the doctor will inject a medication into your vein to cause your heart to race. Each of these two appointments lasts up to an hour and a half and you do not have to stay in hospital overnight. Occasionally, People require a cardiopulmonary exercise test, otherwise known as a CPEX. This involves you either running on a treadmill or cycling on an exercise bike whilst your breathing and heart rate are monitored. Again, if this is required, you'll receive an appointment in the post. The whole test lasts for about 30 to 45 minutes. Many people need to be seen by one of the transplant surgeons particularly if they've had a previous kidney transplant or suffer from polycystic kidney disease. You will receive a letter for an appointment where you will talk to the surgeon and you will be examined. The healthier your weight is, the greater your chance of a better outcome following the transplant. This can include a quicker recovery after the surgery and a transplanted kidney that works well for a longer time. If you need to lose weight to be accepted onto the transplant waiting list or you are already on the list but would like to reduce your weight further, please ask to speak to one of the dietitians. We can offer you renal specific weight loss advice and support. If you are considering a kidney transplant, we strongly advise you to stop smoking. Smoking can cause health problems and increase your risk of complications during the transplant operation and in the recovery period. 
Smoking can also be harmful to the new kidney. Once all of your test results are available, your case will be presented at our weekly transplant meeting. The meeting is attended by our kidney doctors, transplant surgeons, and by the transplant coordinator team. The outcome of the meeting will either be that you are considered a suitable candidate for transplant, or that you need further investigations into your suitability, or that unfortunately you are considered not to be a suitable candidate to receive a transplant. You'll be informed of the outcome of the meeting by telephone call, by mail, or at your next clinic appointment, whichever is most convenient for you. If you're accepted onto the transplant register, you'll be sent a pack of information which will explain having a transplant, your recovery and life after transplant in greater detail. You will then receive an appointment to meet with one of the transplant coordinators who will go through this information in greater detail and discuss your progression onto the transplant register. The majority of this information can be found on our website. Before you are active on the register, tests are done in the lab to identify your tissue type. This ensures that you are matched with the best kidney for you. These tests take around four to six weeks to complete. You will then need extra blood taking every three months to stay on the register. One of the transplant coordinators will inform you when you are active on the register.